The Death Star. That big, mighty ball of death. The fear of rebels and Imperials alike. How does it work exactly? Hello Star Wars fans, my name is Joel Robinson, and this is Day 16 of the 16 day video countdown to Rogue One. Yay! The Death Star was originally known as the DS-1 Orbital Battle Station or Imperial Planetary One Extractor. Its origins dated back thousands of years before the Empire, even before the Clone Wars. Long ago, there was an ancient war between the Jedi and the Sith. Both sides utilized giant kyber crystals at the heart of their temples. The Sith planned to construct a mobile weapon that is capable of destroying life. Thousands of years later, the Confederacy, inspired by this, designed the superweapon we know as the Death Star. Count Dooku took these plans to his master Darth Sidious, who used them to inspire a secret plan within the Republic to create this superweapon before the Confederacy could. Thus, long before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic began construction on the Death Star. The weapon began construction in the orbit of Geonosis after the fall of the Confederacy from the planet. The Republic used the Geonosians under the leadership of Pogl the Lesser as slaves to construct the space station. When the Republic fell, the Death Star became property of the Empire, and thus construction moved from Geonosis to Scarif to complete the final portion of the Death Star Super Laser. The construction portion of the Death Star was overseen by director Orson Krennic. So how does the Super Laser work? The laser uses a series of eight giant kyber crystals to generate an energy field. The weapon was able to use this field to create a beam that goes through a particle accelerator tube. This is amplified through the rings and converges outside the dish. The Death Star is then able to aim at this target with a powerful super beam that when at full power will hit its target, causing the planet's core to explode. A fearsome power indeed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please share it. And be sure to subscribe if you need more Star Wars. A special thank you to Aaron Wagner who wrote this video for me. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel linked below. And now, if you'll excuse me, it's finally time to go see Rogue One. And as always, may the Force be with you.